guys, what's up? I'm Robin Lundstra, aka The Chemist Mel, on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Today I want to talk to you about the Turtle Beach Stealth 500P headset. The Turtle Beach Stealth 500P headset is a surround sound, well actually it's a virtual surround for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, but it can also be used with Windows PC and Mac. I will tell you about how to set it up later, but first let me just uh, get down to showing you guys the headset. Okay, so about this headset. This headset has uh, two 50mm drivers which can create uh, a really good virtual surround effect. Uh, I have used it with my PlayStation 4 and my PC and yeah, I, I'm blown away by the effects. The only thing that I did have to do was pair the transmitter with the headset. Uh, it is automatically paired but for some reason I could not use the DTS sound effects. Okay, so now that I've told you a bit about the headset, let's see it. Please note, I did throw out the box, so no unboxing, I'm sorry, I have been using it, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be calling this a review. Okay, so right now I'm wearing the headset, as you can see, and uh, yeah, I have been using the headset for a couple of weeks now, I figured I'd wait, I would wait a couple of weeks before I actually create my own verdict. So yeah, so far I, I really haven't... Uh, I really haven't find, found any cons to this headset. I mean, its battery life is 15 hours and they say that and it's true. I, I have been using this headset for, for about 15 hours before I had to recharge it. What I also really like about this headset is that it has audio feedback. Which means that when you turn it on, it tells you with a female voice, powering on. When you turn it off, powering off. And it will also give a flashing blue light, uh, well, a flashing blue LED light to show you that it's on. Okay, so that's the indication that it's on. When you, when you switch between equalizers by pressing the equalizer button on the right ear cup on the back, uh, it tells you uh, it tells you it switches between the modes um, bass boost, natural sound, bass and treble boost, and there, there was there was another one I, I kind of forgot. I'm sorry. After you paired it with the transmitter, you can also use the DTX sound modes, which are game mode, movie mode, and a couple others. But I, I mainly use those two. I believe there's also a music mode. What I also really like is that the wireless range of this headset is really good. It's about 9 meters, which is about 29 and a half feet or almost 30 feet. After that you might uh, get some issues. I had it once where it said uh, mic off a couple of times in a row. But other than that, uh, the wireless range and the clarity of the sound is really good. Okay, so after about an hour of gaming, the headset will tell you that auto shutdown is enabled and this happens every time after you turn on the headset. What you do is you press the button, well the power button, just press it, don't hold it, otherwise you will turn it off, but just press it and it will stay on uh, until you turn it off. Okay, so as you can see I've put the headset on a bust right now in order to uh, show you the buttons properly. Okay, so here you have a good view of the volume sliders and the preset button. And here you can see where the mute button and of course the power button are located. Okay, so the final verdict of this headset is uh, definitely 9.5 out of 10 and maybe you think I'm being generous, I don't think so. I really, really am impressed by the sound quality and by the virtual surround of this headset. And also by the range of the wireless, uh, the battery life, uh, which is 15 hours and that's no uh, how do you call it? No exaggeration. It really is 15 hours. Uh, the volume can go a lot higher than I usually put it. Uh, the only thing I would point out is that, um, well, you cannot hear your own feedback when you have the game volume way too loud. So that's the only thing. So that's why I'm keeping it a little bit on the down low because people might be talking to you in the room and you might not be able to hear them or you, you might just want to hear yourself talk a bit so you know what you're saying 
and that's really important for me so yeah there you have it also uh, the comfort of this headset is way better than the PLA headset which I reviewed uh, well about two years ago maybe but yeah the comfort of this headset is just so nice uh, it really fits well I do have to put it uh, to the largest size because hey my noggin is really really big so yeah anyway um, yeah comfort there's hardly any discomfort the only thing that I would like to point out is that you will get headset hair uh, which is of course unavoidable <laughs> hold on okay so you will get headset hair after a prolonged gaming session which is unavoidable uh, unless you have no hair so yeah uh, yeah what else is there to say um, well there is one thing about the comfort part uh, if it's hot but that goes for pretty much every headset that goes over your ears um, well if it's hot outside or in, especially inside uh, you might get a bit of irritation but other than that the comfort of this headset is really such a big improvement over the previous Turtle Beach headset that I had. So again my final verdict is a 9.5 out of 10. Good going guys and trust me I will be a Turtle Beach customer for a long long time to come. Okay so next is setup. First we're gonna set it up on PlayStation 4, then PlayStation 3, PC and Mac. After connecting the transmitter and optical cable, go into the settings menu on your PlayStation 4. From there, scroll down to sound and screen and press the X button. Then, go to audio output settings. First, select primary output port and set it to digital out slash optical and then set it to Dolby 5.1 channels, nothing else. Then hit OK. Next, go to Audio Format Priority and set it to Bitstream Dolby. You're halfway done now. Go back to the menu and select Devices. Now select Audio Devices. Then set Input Device to USB Headset Earforce Style 500p Chat. After you've done this, do the same for Output Device. To test if everything works, go to adjust microphone level and speak into the microphone. Keep it down the middle somewhere because that's usually uh, the best setting. Technically speaking, you don't need to use the volume control from the PlayStation settings as the headset has its own control for chat audio. Now go to output to headphones and select chat audio. The reason you're doing this is because the headset already receives audio through optical. If you don't do this, you don't hear surround sound. And that's how you set up this headset for PlayStation 4. After connecting the headset to your PlayStation 3 through optical and USB, go into the settings menu and select sound settings. Then select audio output settings and set it to optical digital. Now set it to Dolby Digital 5.1 channels. As you can see, there are two linear PCM two channel modes automatically selected. You cannot disable it, uh, so just leave it at that. Now all you have to do is confirm your selection. If you don't want to have to switch every time between your TV and the headset, all you have to do is put audio multi-output on and you can just switch from your TV to your headset and back and forth and so on. Next, go back and scroll up to accessory settings. Then, go to audio device settings. As you can see, I still have a different microphone selected from earlier use. Scroll down to input device, press X and then push the up button on your D-pad. As you can see, the output device automatically changed with the input device. After that, all that's left to do is set the microphone level. Personally, I prefer level 4. It's not too loud, but it's still clear. Uh, level 5 is a little too loud to my liking. So yeah, here you can see me playing around and selecting 4 in the end. And that's it for the setup on the PlayStation 3 for the Turtle Beach Style 500p chat headset. After connecting the headset through USB and if possible optical to your computer, right click on the volume button. 
Then select playback devices. Then find the headset in your devices list and set it as default communications device for chat. Now you have to find your optical output device. For me that would be this one. I changed the name as you can see. Now right click and set as default device. Now right click again and go to properties. I didn't show you this in the video but you have to click on the supported formats tab and set it to Dolby Digital only. Under enhancements you can set virtual surround on to get virtual surround sound on your headset. Now all there is left to do is go into the recording tab and select your headset. Set it as default device or default communications device, whichever you see fit. Now you're done. If you want, you can still adjust the levels, but I didn't have to do that. After connecting the headset to your Mac, all you have to do is go into Preferences and select Sound. Under Output, select Air Force Style 500p Chat. Then select the Input tab. And again, select the Air Force Stealth 500p Chat headset. If needed, you can also adjust the input volume, although I recommend leaving it at maximum. Unfortunately, my iMac does not have optical output, so I could not set that. Um, I don't know if yours has it, you could try it, but this is how it works. So there you have it, enjoy! Okay, so that's it for my review and setup guide for the Till Beach Stealth 500p headset. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitch.tv for live streams, Instagram for pictures, and of course Twitter for updates on all my social media uh, activities. So thank you again for watching and if you liked it, subscribe, leave a comment and a thumbs up. And if you have any questions after this video, let me know in the comments right there. Thank you for watching, bye!